This is Caprosma repens marble queen. It is a variegated form of Caprosma repens. As you can see here, the leaf is a dark green with a wide white margin around the edge, and uh, the leaf surface is very shiny, as Caprosma repens is as well. The size of this plant is four to five feet tall by five to six feet wide. And um, the one you're looking at here is probably four feet tall by two and a half to three feet wide. So as you can see here, the white uh, variegation is very distinctive and bright. So that with the dark green center on the leaf is, uh, it really makes it pop. A lot of variegated plants don't have such a clear variegation to them. You can see here, some of the leaves as they come out new are solid white and uh, a lot of speckles on them as well. So interesting plant to look at. You don't need a lot of it to make a real impact in a plant design. I like here how this designers used it in a shadier area. So it's uh, the leaf, the leaf, it's a darker feel in there along with the dark green of the palm behind it and the other greens. Uh, I think it makes a, a nice statement there at the foot of that stairwell. There, here you can see, see the small leaves in the center of the photograph that are almost entirely white, so that's how, how some of the new foliage comes out. One of the things I've noticed about this actually, looking at the details, there's a lot of variation in how this uh, variegation is expressed. I've seen leaves on these that uh, are speckled as well as the ones like you see here, so especially when they're younger leaves, uh, a lot of variation in how that variegation shows up. But as you can see here, it's a, it's a nice distinctive plant. You don't need a lot of it to make a nice impact. It's like having white flowers blooming. There's so much white on the plant. And um, I think that a little tip I'd give you is I don't like to use a ton of variegated plants in a grouping generally if it's as bright as you see here because I think it over... It, it, it's too much. When you have this much white, it, uh, it can just be screaming at you and then you don't enjoy any of the other plants around it because there's too much going on. The combination of white and it's also uh, splattered in there, so it's, it's busy. And the combination of the two in a big massing for me is a little too much. So in terms of what you want to think about in design, these are really great in shadier areas in my opinion my experience. Um, in hot inland areas, you know, these do not like full sun. It gets a little too hot for them, so probably better to give them part sun, avoid the hottest part of the day, or in shade. And um, by the way, these uh, are hardy down to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, and if you're going to use them in hot inland areas uh, where it's getting 100 degrees Fahrenheit, then again, you're going to want to put those in some some shade and away from the afternoon heat. Um, these are good by the, by the uh, coast. They can handle full sun in coastal or at least cooler coastal areas and um, Caprosma repens in general seems to handle coastal conditions well so that's nice to know without getting mildew or some of the problems that other shrubs may have. And uh, I would say that that's about it. Oh, they do like regular garden moisture. They can take a little uh, drying out, but in general, they're going to do their best. As you can see here, look, it's sitting there with some nice lush ground cover and a fern, and it's very happy. So I would say regular garden moisture is going to be best for these guys. I think that's what I can tell you about Caprosma Marble Queen. I mean, in design, uh, it's kind of self-explanatory, very distinctive shrub. Uh, uh, by the way, the flowers are insignificant on this one, not that it matters, but um, you don't need much more than this show on the foliage. So uh, that's a, a really nice one to have in your um, design arsenal, so um, enjoy that one if it uh, works where you're at. I would uh, definitely find a way to use that one, especially in shadier areas. Caprosma repens marble queen. Enjoy.